dear to your heart. You were out and about yesterday here locally uh, with uh, entrepreneurs, startup companies for a very special day. Let's talk about encouraging that and what you're doing on the on the uh, the federal level to encourage more of that type of entrepreneurship. Well, uh, Congressman Jared Polis, who uh, he was one eight hundred flowers. He's quite an entrepreneur uh, and running for. Uh, Colorado governor right now, uh, he and I st looked and said, startups matter, startups create jobs. Uh, people always say small business create jobs, but really it's new and growing businesses that create jobs. And so we sponsored, I guess it's six years ago, uh, a uh, National Startup Day and encouraged members of Congress to go out and meet with startups. And uh, and Jared and I kind of have this this rivalry, you know, who's got the newest startup, who's got uh, the, whatever the figure is. You're at a is. disadvantage, you represent California. This is startup heaven here. Well, he's pretty much a braggart, too. Uh, so what yesterday, though, I did one-up him. I met with an 8-year-old who's already a couple of years into his recycling business. He's, uh, he's got $26,000 in his college fund. He's 8 years old. He's 8 years old. Uh, he, he drives his own truck. Of course, it's electric and has plastic wheels oh, on cute. it. Uh, he works the neighborhood, but it's for real. I mean, he has, he has hats, he has uh, T-shirts, and he has... A marketing material for the neighbors and, and other groups who will put into his containers uh, bottles. He collects them and it doesn't, it sounds like, well, how could you do it? Well, you know, a nickel of a can when you're getting tens of thousands of cans. And the only thing his father uh, does complain is that they got to get a bigger truck because uh, <laughs> that once a month trip to the recycling. This father's, takes over the family car. The, well, they've got a family truck, but it takes a couple of loads. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's the only part that young Ryan can't do. So uh, that was the, the new and the young. But I also visited Oceanside Brewery, uh, where they've had the usual challenges of trying to set up a manufacturing facility and a retail facility to see some of the challenges that they face locally and nationally. Uh, and in between, uh, I was at a sock manufactured stance. Uh, you should get some of those socks. They're very <laughs> hip. Are they comfortable? <laughs> they're very comfortable. They're very uh, hip. And they're very hip, That's very what comfortable. That's Carlos needs some more... Well, I can tell you, they need more hipness. Yes. The professional more. sports guys are all wearing them. These are, uh, these are the socks well, that I'm NBA. avoiding them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, but uh, but you know these are made and some of it's made in America and more of it can be uh, because.